Hello, my name is Michal Hutsko and welcome to another lecture of our REST API class. In this lecture, we're going to talk about many-to-many -many fields. So in this lecture, we're going to create the table name student. And as it is in every university, students can apply for subjects in the university. So each student can have multiple subjects and each subject can have multiple students, of course, different students and so on. So as you can see, based on these characteristics of relation, we cannot use this uh, foreign key field. Because uh, in the previous lecture, when we were creating a relation between the subject and the teacher itself, there was just and only one teacher for the given subject. In this case, it's a little different. So we need to use something which is called like intermittent table or, or uh, table in between or middle table. You will see in this video how we're going to create this. As I mentioned, this lecture will be very simple and you can do it on yourself right now. Please stop this video. The key thing which you need to Google, which is different from the previous videos, is the term many-to-many -many field. And you need to use this field in the models.py. Please feel free to try it on your own and then continue with this video with me to check whether you have done it correctly or, or how does it work even. Okay, so how are we going to start? Right now I'm in my Visual Studio Code and I'm going to create a new uh, table or model which is going to be called uh, student. And the student will have a name and surname, surname the same as in case of a teacher. And of course, students needs to have some age. And we're going to do integer field. And I'm going to, of course, teach you something new in this lesson. So I'm going to use this integer field without any restriction, meaning that the age field will be mandatory. You need to specify it for every student in order to create a record. We also going to create a daytime field for created as I used to in the previous you know, video. And I'm going to create this meta to order my results in the database or in the you know, get request. And I'm also going to specify this uh, string field over here. So we got some, some nice uh, you know, stringified uh, representation of every student. The one field which I didn't specify will be called subjects. So each student needs to have one or zero. Okay, this will be different. So zero or, or, uh, or many subjects, so many to many field. And here you need to specify what table are we going to refer with this field. And in this case, we're going to refer to the table called subject. And because this is very similar to the foreign key field, you need to also specify related name. So what should happen? What should happen when the subject will be referring to those students? And you need to specify the name, how it will call them. So in this case, it will be students. Students. I wasn't using too many times this related field in this uh, tutorial, but maybe in the later lectures I will. So that's the reason why I put it here. And now we need to specify this optionality. Like you can, but you don't have to specify subjects for the student. Meaning a stud stud student can apply for subject, but he doesn't have to. And we're going to do this with the blank option. So blank option, in this case, true. Meaning you can, but you don't have to specify uh, the subjects for your students. Now, the next thing what we need to specify is a serializer. And I will just copy paste this serializer specification over here. And I'm going to call it the student serializer, student serializer. And it's based on the student, student. And in this case, I'm going to make some change here. So because this is a model serializer, each field of the serializer, you need to understand the serializer is the thing in in the in the you know in the let's say the Django REST framework GUI which you see in the in the uh, Google Chrome. Yeah, so so this is not a field in the database. It's not a column in the database. So here, for example, what we can specify is let's say, okay, we can add students to our database. But these students cannot have like age less than zero or age greater than 100 years because maybe, it, okay, there are some people with 100 years, so let's say 150 years. So how are we going to specify it here? You cannot specify it on the, you know, image field level. You cannot specify it on the column level or sometimes you can, but in this case, let's say you cannot. So you need to specify it on the serializer level and you can like override the, the default behavior of this field. And you can say like H is serializer, serializers dot integer field. So it's an integer field and you can override every field if you want, but this is just optional. And you are saying that the mean value in this case, mean value uh, will be a zero and the max value value 
will be let's say 150 and it's all you need for limiting this field or limiting this field in the serializer now the next thing what we need to do is create a new view set so i'm going to view set as you can see this is very simple the only thing is to understand how these things work behind the scenes and what i'm going to put here is gonna be a student student a view set which is going to be a serializer class a student serializer and the models will be student not subject so student uh student perfect now the next thing what we need to change is our our, our urls urls i'm going to put here students students and don't forget to change the view set students uh student view set and now we are ready to go what is the next thing for those of you who said okay you just run the server and you can now use it wrong you need to create migrations and because we are not adding any new fields or any new columns to existing tables and we are creating brand new tables we can do it out of the box so uh, python manage by make migrations uh, school app perfect that's all we should do now the 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 Python behind the scenes or Django behind the scenes will create the migrations. And when we will later apply the migrations, we will create this intermittent middle table, which will specify the relation between the students and the subjects. And I made here mistake. I put here image field. You can see it's saying I don't have a library for image field. So it's integer field. I'm, I'm sorry, my mistake. So let's rerun this command again. And now we should be ready to create our migrations. Migrations, okay? So every time when you see an error like this, please read the error message. 90% of the time it's saying what's wrong with you. Okay, so now we created the migrations and now you, you need to run Python, manage Py and migrate. But because I, I ran it before, you don't. I, I will not run it, but you should run it. And when you will run this command and you will go to your PG admin yeah, and you will refresh the school database, you will go to the table section, you will see that instead of just having teachers and subject table, you will see that there will be also a student table and uh, this middle table or intermittent table between students and subjects. And when you click on this table, the students subjects table will have just three columns. One will be the ID. Okay, there always need to be this primary key. In this case, it's an ID. And here it will say that relation, for example, student with ID this belongs or has like applied for a subject with ID this. And because we are using this uh, student subjects relation table, we don't need to specify any relation in these columns of students so there will be no relation or any mention of relation to the subjects and the same applies for for subjects in this case okay now when we go of course what we need to do right now is to run the server this is cached in my, my browser i'm not running the server so you need to run server and i will show you what happened in directly inside the google chrome using the django rest framework gui but feel free also to try your postman it will still work with the postman the same way as it's working with the django rest framework gui so now if I go to localhost slash school, you will see that in my API root, I have one more root path, which is saying students. And if I click on the students root path, you will see that here I have the option to create the student. And I will this time go to the raw data field so you can see you can create it directly from JSON, not from this fancy HTML form. And this JSON is the same JSON as you have, for example, in the, in the uh, postman. So I'm saying I will have minus one H, so Michal, and my name is Hutsko, and I will not apply for any subjects for right now. And if I post this student, you will see I have an error message. I get a 400 back bad request, okay? Four means that the problem is on the client side, and I have a message saying, ensure this value is greater or equal than zero. Perfect. So in this case, what I need to do is, again, I need to write it again. I have one year. I put here Michal Hutsko. Please feel free to put here 1,600. 1, you will see there will be another error message. And in this time, I didn't specify any subjects. I created me. Yep, I'm here. I have ID two, and I has been I have been ad added to the table. So if I go, yeah, you can check it. It's in the table. But now uh, I will apply for some subjects, right? And if you see, as you can see right now, I have here some subject which is a chemistry. So so I'm still going through these routes. Maybe I'm doing it a little fast, but I'm always clicking here at the API root when I want to go back and I want to go to some different route. I just choose a different route. So what if I want to change the student, right? Right now I applied for zero subject, but now I have changed my mind and I would like to apply for the chemistry. What should I do or how should the system behave? So I go to the students 
And here I can see that there is one student, which is called Michal Hutsko, it has ID2. And because I'm using this, this REST API, I will just put here slash two. And right now I'm in my detailed read form of, of this student, of the student Michal Hutsko. And what I can do right now, if I click on the HTML form, here I have a multi-choice field. If you would have multiple subjects here, they will be stacked one after another. And you can choose between them or multiples of them by pressing by clicking on it or pressing control and click clicking on multiples of them so you can choose one to many you know representations or, or or subjects for that particular student and when i press now put yeah you will see that the students has changed and now here in the subjects part i will have lists of of the the subjects which i applied for so this is the many to many field and as you can see is very handy and thanks to these serializers django makes it absolutely easy and simple Imagine what you would have to do if you were implementing this on your own without the ORM. It would be very hard. So in this case, as you can see, it's very simple. And, and that's the thing which I wanted to show you in this video. So thank you very much for watching this video. And I hope I will see you in the next one.